we're good. Uh, hey everyone, this is Anthony from Singular Sound, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some beginner guitar accessories. This video was inspired by our last accessories video, which we featured the rift bands. Now these things add a little bit of resistance to your fingers, and when we gave them to our lead guitarist, he said yeah, it helped him to play better. He said he could play riffs faster and more accurately, so you guys really seemed to love them in that video, and we figured, hey, let's take a look at what else is out there. What's real and what's just a gimmick? This video is exactly that. We're gonna be taking a look at some products, some that I think really will help you be a better guitarist, and others, eh, not so much. So join us as we take a look at all these products. We've got the Chord Mate here, and if that name sounds familiar to you and you're looking at this and you might think like, oh wait, I think I've seen that before, it's because it's very similar to another product on the market called the Chord Buddy, but it does offer some interesting functional differences, which we'll get to here. Basically, the way this works and, and how I think it fits in is it's meant for uh, children or you know absolute beginner guitarists who haven't yet built up calluses on their fingers but still want to practice uh, chords and strumming in particular. So the way that this works is you attach it to your guitar using the clamps here on the back and then each of these buttons, right, when you press them, you can see here and I'll open this up so the camera gets a better view, each of those buttons push up one of these pegs and all of those pegs are correlated to common, uh, you know, finger positions that you need to play basic chords. So for example, uh, if you press all of the reds, so you see this red here, this one here, and this here, then you're playing a C. If you press the yellows here and here, you're playing an E minor. Uh, so stuff like that, and it's all color coded, so it's it's relatively easily remembered. And as you can see, which I'll, I'll hold it here, um, the chord positions are reminiscent of the actual chords on the guitar. So I can see some of the use here, but you know, only for an absolute beginner, um, because the second that you can press down the frets, it's going to be better to do so. And there's a few quirks to this uh, that we'll get to in the demo right now. Okay, so while we were going to demo this, uh, it just broke, actually. Um, as you can see, one of the posts fell off, and I can kind of get it back in there as like, like this. But at this point, I mean, I don't know. I, it's going to be a hard no for me. <laughs> uh, just in general, getting it on the neck of the guitar, because we did mess with this a little bit before it broke. Um, and it, it broke in the process of remounting it again. And uh, in general, there, you get a lot of, of buzz of the strings because they hit these posts here. And uh, I mean, especially now that it broke, I just I don't think we can recommend this product. The verdict, yeah, it's a big no for me. And here we have the Solo Digital Portable Guitar Trainer. Now there's a whole bunch of brands of these on Amazon, a lot of them slightly different, but the core premise is the same. You have a, a screen up here, you slide this open to reveal a fake fretboard with some mock-up strings basically, and then you press this to power on, and now it gives you a chord to play. In this case, it is C diminished. Yeah, there's a little I don't know if you can see it on the screen there. You actually might see it better than me. It's a little diminished up there. So then you'd put your fingers here and I'm, you know, holding this for, for the camera is a little bit difficult. But basically you then put the fingers on there. It's kind of out of focus. I'm really struggling to get it in camera, but you do the fingers and then when you're ready, you just do another chord like that. You just cycle through the chords, boom, boom, boom. And you can keep practicing them. Um, Overall, I'm not a huge fan of this product, but there are some positives to it. So first and foremost, I think let's let's jump into the negatives. You can see here on this string in particular, like it's already bent out of shape. They're very loose and, and just not super great. They have um, some screws on the back here. I don't think I can get that in this camera, but maybe we can get it on that camera. Uh, and these you could use to tighten these strings, but from what I was reading in online reviews, you can't actually get them in tune. You can just make them tighter to increase the resistance, um, which to me is a huge problem because you have the chords here, but you don't have any feedback on whether you're actually getting the fingering right for that chord. So in my opinion, this is kind of just a chord sheet 
that's digital and maybe a little bit more convenient. I mean, this shape here is not any smaller than a chord sheet takes up if you think about it. But if, if you could have just this display up here, you might have a compelling, you know, neat little chord sheet offering. Um, however, in this current form factor, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Um, you know, maybe it's different for you guys. Maybe you guys are like, oh, you know what? That actually looks pretty neat to carry on in my backpack and just practice memorizing new chords. And, and maybe, you know, for that, sure, go for it. But uh, personally, didn't jive with me or the, uh, the guys here at the office. The final verdict for the solo guitar practice tool, it's gonna be a maybe. If you think this fits for you, go for it. Otherwise, you can pass on it. And now we're gonna take a snack break. Wait a minute, what? Oh, look at this, it's our next product. This right here is the perfect pinch, and it's designed to help you build up your finger calluses, or uh, just to cause you pain if you're a masochist. <laughs> now, the way it works is you pinch it in your fingers like this, and then use either multiple or individual fingers. You wanna get on the tips, and then you're just gonna squeeze that down like that. And now, it's, it's painful at first. Uh, I'm not a frequent guitarist. I, I can play a little bit of like very beginner guitar and I played back when I was younger, but mostly I'm a pianist. So I definitely don't have those calluses and I can tell you doing it. It leaves a pretty firm impression on the hands and it can be pretty painful. And you can see here, I don't know if the camera's going to focus on that, but you can see those indentations. So, um, it's definitely something. I definitely think if you really, really wanted to fast track your way into finger calluses, I cannot deny that this will give you finger calluses. Um, is it worth it for that? I'm not sure. I, I guess that's a personal, uh, you know, that's a, something for you to decide personally. But on the plus side, as you saw, you can use it to, you know, store some chips and stuff. And it, it works pretty well at that. In fact, when you're not using um, just your fingertips on this surface and you're using your palm, it's actually not uncomfortable at all. Uh, I had these in the house. It comes as a two pack. So I had two of these. And uh, I couldn't find the other one because my wife used it to close some chips or something. And I don't know where that bag of chips is. Um, she says she hit it, so I didn't eat them all. So that's uh, that's telling. <laughs> but she didn't complain about this at all. So, and she didn't know anything. So clearly it's not uncomfortable if you're just using it like this, which I can tell you it's not. One other feature I like about the Perfect Pinch is that it's got a magnet on the back so you can attach it to your fridge, which again, helps with that use case after you're done practicing to, you know, hold snack bags and stuff. As a pro, it's one of the only accessories on this list that has utility after you stop being a beginner guitarist. If you get this to train your calluses, it's not just gonna be useless once it's done. And there's a lot to say for that. So I actually, I, I actually kind of like this product. And the final verdict in the Perfect Pinch is gonna be a yes. This is actually the only product here that has use after you're done practicing with it. And for that, I think there's a lot of utility there. Next up, we've got the Diodario Hand Exerciser and Fiddlelink. Now these came as a two pack on Amazon, but I'm gonna be talking about them separately. The Fiddlelink, in the name Fiddlelink, you can kind of guess it's a fidget type tool that you can kind of just move around like this. It's, it's like an interlinked, set almost like a chain that's in a triangle shape or something. And I guess the claim here is that it's meant to increase finger dexterity. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I don't, I didn't perceive any difference, I suppose. Um, it's not like when I first started using this, I was like struggling to turn it around or anything like that. I don't perceive any difference. It's a fun fidget tool. Uh, out of all the things that we've reviewed in the video, I've used it the most just because it's sat on my desk and like, you know, if I'm on a call or something, I can just sit there and fidget it in my hands. But I don't know that this is going to make you a better guitarist. So this might be useful as a, a like finger warm up type device that if you're getting ready to play, so not necessarily for like a beginner, but maybe somebody who's at a gig and they're talking to the sound guy or a or the stage manager or something of that sort, you know, prior to playing and they want to warm up their fingers so that their fingers aren't like rusty right before they get started. Uh, this could be something just to like, you know, get your hand used to movement and stuff. And I, you know what? I can see that kind of like how a, a, a singer would do vocal exercises before jumping right on stage. You know, you're not gump jumping in with uh, cold finger muscles, so to speak. Um, so I could see that as a potential use case for this and uh, undeniably it's fun and interesting to mess with. So, you know, uh, again, no negatives for it. I just, 
I don't necessarily think it's for a beginner guitarist. It's just something that's fun and maybe a, a hand warm up tool at best. Now to the hand exerciser by Diodario. Now this one, this one is probably of all the things on this list, the one that I think is most likely to make a noticeable improvement because for me personally, I made a huge improvement on it. I actually started it on the weakest setting and when I was depressing it, I was unable to fully press down all of the, um, I guess you call them pistons. I'm not sure what you, you'd call these exactly, but I wasn't able to fully depress them. And now I'm on the hardest setting and it's adjustable. And this happened in, in the span of a week or two that I was able to get to this to the setting here. And now, I mean, I'm just working on reps. And as you can see, my my pinky in particular starts to tire out and I can't, I can't press it down all the way. But I, I bet you in a week, I, I'll be doing that multiple times without any issue. Um, so I think that this has a lot of potential to help you with pressing down the strings fully and ensuring that you've got a good press uh, of the string against the fretboard. And this combined with the perfect pinch, I think if you're going to get anything on this, getting these two alone would probably make a pretty noticeable difference for a beginner guitarist because if you push through it and you use them, I mean, it's going to hurt. Uh, my fingers got sore from the hand exerciser and the perfect pinch certainly was painful while I was building and, and continuing to build calluses there. Um, but I think as far as like, you know, you're a novice guitarist and you're looking to build up your your ability to press those strings down against the fretboard, these two in combination in particular are going to be quite helpful. So uh, high marks for the Diodario hand exerciser. And I mean, this is a given. This is something that has been around in the music industry for a while and has been recommended for a while. I mean, I, I remember I was working at uh, a music store as one of my first jobs. And, you know, these are one of the things we recommended to, to beginners. So, um, you know, it's a, I would say it's a, a proven and trusted um, model for, for increasing your hand strength. And, and that's never going to have a negative for you. So definitely recommend this. And I think this plus the perfect pinch is a really nice combo. For the final verdict on the Fiddlelink, it's going to be a no, but if you just want a fidget tool or you think this would help you warm up before a gig, then go for it. It's pretty cheap. And for the final verdict on the Diodario Finger Strengthener, it's going to be a yes. This has been around forever. You guys probably already know these exist and you might even have one at home, so it's a pass. It'll definitely help you out. And that concludes all of these products. As you can see, some of them were really good and I think would definitely help you. The Perfect Pinch and the Diodario Hand Exerciser in particular. Others were definitely a lot more gimmicky. Uh, that being said, we really hope this helps you improve your guitar playing. And if you liked the content, give us a like down below. Give us a subscribe too, because we're going to bring out more cool content like this. Uh, that's it. Peace, everyone. Keep rocking. Good. <laughs>